SAP Business One provides customer relationship management, or CRM, functionality right throughout the entire system. One aspect of this CRM functionality I'd like to focus on in this demonstration is sales opportunity management. This is part of what many organizations traditionally call Salesforce automation. In the Business One main menu, you see I have a sales opportunity menu, and then I can select my sales opportunity function from that menu. This opens up my sales opportunity card, which is where I'm able to track the specific details of every individual sales opportunity that is being worked on throughout my organization. I'm able to see who my business partner is that I'm working with. I can see who the contact person is at a business partner, who the sales employee within my organization is that is working on this sales opportunity, as well as a number of key other pieces of information. Let's go and call up an existing sales opportunity. And you can see I'm working this opportunity with Beta Industry. And the opportunity is to provide a new printer system for their New York office. I can see that the status is open. I can see when the opportunity actually started. I can see when the predicting closing date is. And the system tells me that's expected it's going to take 159 days from the time the opportunity started to the predicted closing date. I can see the potential amount of this opportunity is $3,000. And I can see based on the weighting that the uh, opportunity is currently worth about $2,100 to me. I'm going to talk a little bit more about weighting once we look at the stages. You can also see there is another group of, uh, of tabs on the screen which gives me the ability to view additional information about this sales opportunity. If I look at my general tab, this is where I can record the details of a distributor or a channel partner who I have given this opportunity to and they are closing it on my behalf. So for example, if you sell your product or service through distributors, uh, then you can record the details of the distributor that is working this specific sales opportunity for you. SAP Business One also gives you the ability to track projects and track all activities uh, and all costs and revenue associated to a project. So you can also allocate this sales opportunity to a, to a specific project as well. You can nominate how this opportunity came in. Did it come as a result of a cold call? Did it come over the internet from a reseller or through some general marketing? And additionally, you can define um, more, opportun more, more choices for this particular drop-down menu. All you have to do is choose the define new function. You can also nominate which industry um, this sales opportunity is related to. The next component of the sales opportunity record is the stages. So what you can do with in sales opportunities is you can nominate at which stage a sales opportunity is in your sales cycle. You may, for example, use a specific sales cycle like, uh, or a sales methodology like solution selling or targeted account selling. In my organization, we've determined that opportunities go through uh, a particular cycle. They come in, they are a, uh, a lead. We do our first meeting, we do our second meeting, we usually issue a proposal, we have a negotiation, we get an order and then maybe we do a needs analysis. So I'm able to track each one of these individual stages within the system. So you can see each one of these stages is shown in this drop down box. I can then nominate any other partners who are working with me on this sales opportunity. For example, let's say one of my suppliers is also working with me to help me close this opportunity. I can nominate which of those suppliers I'm working with. I can also track the competitors who are, who are operating against me in this opportunity. I can view a summary of the opportunity, whether it's open, won or lost. And I can also track all of my attachments against this specific opportunity, whether it's documents that I've sent, documents that I've received, each one of those I can attach and track against the opportunity. Of course, once I have all this information tracked, it's important to be able to go ahead and report on that information. So let's go and take a look at some of the opportunity reports that are delivered as standard with SAP Business One. You can see in the sales opportunities area, we have a number of different reports. I'd like to first of all look at the stage analysis report. The stage analysis report gives us the ability to look at every single opportunity that is being worked on in my organization and then analyze at what stage it is, when it's going to close and so on. I can also put parameters on my report 
and I can nominate that I only want to look at opportunities that are in a particular sales stage or being worked on by a particular sales employee or with a particular business partner. So for example, I could say I only want to see those opportunities that are in the quotation phase. So I choose quotation, I say OK, and when I click OK here on my selection criteria, all I get in my stage analysis is the particular deals that are in the quotation phase. So you can see that I have four leads in this stage and Bill Levine is working on two of those and my other sales representative Sophie Clogg, she's working on two of those as well. I can then go back and change my stage by returning back. I can untick my sales stage, in which case I say I just want to see everything. I go ahead and click OK and now you can see I have an updated view. So I can see I have 10 leads, 4 opportunities in the first meeting phase, 2 in the second meeting and so on. That information is automatically graphed for me as well. Now if I want to at this particular point in time I can go ahead and generate a report. I click my print graph function because in my report I want to get a copy of the graph and then I'm going to go ahead and do a print preview. And you can see I have my standard stage analysis report, which of course, like every report in SAP Business One, can be customized to meet your requirements. And you can do that yourself using the built-in report designer. But I have that standard report there, which I can generate in hard copy. But of course, one of the keys that people uh, are always looking for from reporting is the ability to drill down to the underlying data. So with SAP Business One, in most of our reporting screens, you're able to double click on a particular line item and drill down. So if I want to see, for example, all of the deals that I have that are currently sitting as leads, all I do is double click on the lead line and then I can see each of my salespeople uh, that are working on leads and uh, if I want to then drill down and look at that particular salesperson, let's say I want to see all of the leads that Bill Levine is working on, Again, I can double click on Bill. I can now see that Bill's working on four leads, and if I want to drill down and look at the additional information underneath, underneath each of those leads, all I need to do is click on the little yellow arrow. Anywhere in SAP Business One where you see one of these yellow arrows, again, that means that you can drill down and look at the underlying data. So again, if I want to look at this particular opportunity here from ADA Technologies, I can simply click and drill down and see uh, the sales opportunity information. The next key piece of reporting information I'd like to look at is my opportunity pipeline. The opportunity pipeline gives me the ability to see in a pipeline fashion a graphical representation of the percentages of each of my opportunities and what stage they're in. So you can see that as I hover over each different colored band, which represents a different stage, the system shows me what stage I'm in, what my expected total amount of revenue is that's going to come from that stage, and what my closing percentage is. So my closing percentage for leads, of course, will be lower than my closing percentage for those deals where I've moved through to the quotation phase. I can then go ahead and drill down and look at these details. So, double click on quotation, and now I can see every opportunity that I'm working on in my organization where it is in the quotation phase. And of course, simply by clicking, I can drill down and look at the specific sales opportunity. We can go one step further though with our opportunities pipeline. Within SAP Business One, we have a graphical representation of how opportunities move through the sales cycle, and that's called dynamic opportunity analysis. To activate that function, I simply go up here to my menu, choose Go To, and choose Dynamic Opportunity Analysis. Each one of these colored spheres represents an opportunity, and you can see these are the different phases or different stages in our sales cycle. I also have a region above and a region below representing Opportunities Won and Opportunities Lost. You'll notice I have a date field at the bottom here. Once I press Play, you can see each opportunity that is represented by a different colored ball as they move through the opportunity uh, life cycle, if you like. The size of the ball represents the size of the opportunity relative to the other opportunities. And you can see as the opportunities move through, 
the different stages as the dates go past. I can see opportunities that have been lost, at what stage they have been lost, in the negotiation stage, the quotation stage, or the first meeting stage. I can also see the opportunities that have been won. And at any point in time, by simply double-clicking on that coloured sphere, I can drill down and look at the specific sales opportunity. So again, you have a very powerful graphical representation of opportunities as they move through the system. And of course, this representation can be uh, modified to choose how you look at that. You might want to look at this rather than being opportunities by customer. You might want to look at it as being opportunities by salesperson or what so on and so forth. So you can see there's quite comprehensive uh, sales opportunity management functionality within Business One.